the November favorites video. I know it's a little bit early, but I'd rather get it out to you early than not at all. It's all a mix of stuff that I've been loving so far this month. So first, I'd like to start with the body. I am recommending Dove Triple Moisture Revive Body Wash in the scent Pomegranate and Lemon Verbana. It smells so it smells so good like it smells well it smells like pomegranate <laughs> it smells like pomegranate and lemon and i just recommend it it goes for about five dollars at target or walmart next i have the blackhead eliminating scrub from garnier this stuff works miracles so it is an exfoliator and it does have salicylic acid in it so i don't use it every day i use it maybe twice a week and it's for oily skin, but I have combination skin, so it does help with my oily skin and it does help get rid of dark spots. If you see any spots peeking out, use this stuff right away and your blackheads, your acne scars, it'll be gone. Just so I just recommend that it's the Blackhead Eliminating Scrub by Garnier. That was a daytime scrub. So my nighttime scrub that I recommend is the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Clean Cleaning Face Wash. Whew. But I love this stuff. They do have the daytime version of this. They have a different nighttime version. They have a different daytime version. But this is the one that I love for nighttime only. It's relaxing. It gets it has it smells like it smells like sea salt kind of, and it smells so good. And you just rub it into your skin. It's it's not harsh because it has no, it has, oh no, 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 it doesn't have any beads in it. So it's just, it's soothing, but it cleans your pores out. Like you really feel your skin very clean at the end of the day. And it's just wonderful to wind down to. Next, I have the Olay, Night of Olay Firming Cream. And it's like a moisturizer that I put on at night. So I wash my face with the night um cleanser that I just talked about I put this on and then I put on any like if I have any spots I put on like an acne treatment or some aloe aloe works very well it gets rid of dark spots acne pimples the night cream works so well it's firming it's a good moisturizer you don't need too much I got this from Target for about five dollars so it's not expensive at all it lasts you a long mm, it lasts about two months but five dollars for two months is wonderful Next, I have the Evercurl Sulfate-Free Leave-In Conditioner by L'Oreal. It's part of a complete line, the Evercurl line, but I don't use the Evercurl line. I was doing like a whole natural thing, and when I was doing that this month, I absolutely use this every time I wash my hair. So, okay, I might not wash my hair, but I like co-wash it, and when I co-wash it, after I put this stuff in it, it really brings out your curls. I'm going to try to do a hair care video for you to show you exactly what I do and how I take care of my hair. But this stuff works wonders. I love it. Next, I have the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. So what? It's broken right here. Don't mind it. I dropped it. I got this in Ulta and I dropped it before I even checked out. Why I didn't get another one? Or maybe... I got it a long time ago. Maybe it was the only one that was left or something. I don't remember, but I dropped it before I even checked out. I got this from Ulta for about $9, and it works great. So, in the shower, I wash my hair or whatever. I let this sit in it for about 10 minutes while I, like, shower. And then I rinse it out, and then I go in with the Evercurl system. And, like, that's a leave-in, though. You don't rinse that out. And it's just, it's wonderful for your hair. Next, keeping along with the hair care system, I use the Biotin Plus Keratin Treatment. So, this stuff works so well. I've been using it for about two months now, but this month is when I really saw such a big difference. My hair has grown about two inches or maybe three inches in the past month, and I've dyed it and everything. So, that's bringing me to my next favorite. I don't have the box with me right now, but I did dye my hair um, blue-black, and I mixed it with the black a black dye. I used Revlon Color Silk. Um dye and it's so cheap i got it for about two dollars at target i got it online though so i ordered it online for two dollars so my whole bill together came to like four dollars five dollars plus tax whatever and it's so wonderful so i dyed my own hair and because i did have 
like an ombre. And I got that and I had that in for about two months. So when it was time to re-dye it, I was like, I don't want to re-dye my hair blonde. It's so damaging to my hair. So I just decided to dye it black. And I love this color. So I've had it for about two weeks now, maybe three. And I love it. Like, it's, you can't, like, it's black. Like, my shirt is black. My hair is black. All black, everything. <laughs> but I love this color. I will try to put a picture in the video somewhere in here. I'm going to recommend the Smashbox on the Rocks palette. It is limited edition, but they still have it in stock. So it's on. I got this on Smashbox.com, but they sell it at Ulta, and I believe they sell it at Sephora. I'm not sure though, but I will leave any links down below. These colors are so cute. Like, I love them. They have a wonderful, it is a holiday color, so they don't have any like summery corals or anything, but they're neutral colors. So I used this whole palette on my makeup today. <laughs> and um, if you want me to do a tutorial for this, I can do it. Just leave it in the comments down below. All the browns, the pinks, the blues it has wonderful like eyebrow highlight colors this is like the best color ever for a highlight i love it i'm telling you it is the best palette and i got it for like 42 dollars but it's a palette a smashbox palette and i love it so it's worth the price of. next i'm going to recommend the lorac tantalizer which is a highlighter and a matte bronzer duo so this is it this is the highlight and that's the bronzer and I do have it. Well, I have the highlight on today. This is the best highlight duo combo in my opinion. And I got it from Ulta for like $12 and it lasts a long time. Like I have not hit pan on it or anything and I've had it for about a year, almost, maybe not a year, like six months. But I've had it for a long time and I absolutely love it. So that's the Lorac Tantalizer Highlight and Matte Bronzer. Next is the NYX dark circle concealer oh girl this is the best concealer for dark circles i've ever seen i am wearing it today and they it comes in two shades the or no i think it comes in three shades the dark light and medium and mine is the medium and i have it on today i don't know what i was doing before maybe i wasn't doing anything but my under my circles are completely concealed with this and it was only six dollars so i will be getting it again i will be stocking up i will be getting many more because it is the best dark circle concealer any other concealers that i use are either too light or they don't really reflect like they don't look good on my face like i don't know what my face problem is but they just don't look good the Too faced chocolate soleil deep slash medium matte bronzer this is the little itty bitty baby one that i got in a Too Faced palette, I think, and this came with it. I got it from Ulta, and it's the one that smells like, mm, smells like chocolate. And I was thinking that, oh, I'll never use this. Oh, I have so many bronzers or whatever, but this is my holy grail bronzer. It's perfect for contour. It's perfect for contouring. Let me clarify. Contouring and bronzing it are different. So this is a perfect contour because it's perfect for my face. Like you wouldn't even think. Next is the Gerard Cosmetics by Jaclyn Hill 1995 Lipstick. It's a perfect fall color. It's supposed to be from the Kylie, like, look like a Kylie Jenner look. So I will swatch it. But it is so pretty. It's so pigmented. That was like one little swipe. It lasts for hours. I'm telling you, hours and hours and hours. You can eat something and it won't. It won't fade. Last but not least is the lipstick I have on my lips today, which is Black Cherry by Milani. This is definitely a wine color, but I will swatch it for you. And I love it. Like they're close, they're close in color, but not that much. But they're really cute. I love them. Last, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite songs of November. So first up is Do Not Disturb by Tayana Taylor.
Next is Try Me by Dej Loaf. Tuesday by I do not know how to pronounce his name. I love Mekinen. I don't really know what's featuring Drake. It's called Tuesday. Last but not least is I Don't F With You by Big Sean. <laughs> okay everyone that is it thank you for watching my entire 2014 november favorites oh please subscribe to my video thank you for watching i love you and see you soon Lorac, 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 Lorac. oh two faced what did i get a two First 